year to all the viewers the off times now and of the news are ladies and gentlemen on the first day of 2019 team times now brings you another super exclusive news break on agusta westland scandal a letter written by middleman christian michel that talks of an italian lady's son a letter that's been spoken about but no one has ever seen the contents of the letter will be brought up on the news hour what does it say who does it implicate stay tuned for that big explosive story coming up right after these top headlines on the news hour tonight on the news hour tonight we will show you what no other channel ever has Christian Michel's secret letter to Finn Mechanica CEO exclusive news break coming up stay tuned fasten your seat belts because we are bringing you the channel for investigative stories bringing you the biggest news break of the day char char pidi se jinhone desh ko raj kiya hai unko zamanat pe nikalna pade aur wo bhi paiso ki hera pheri mein ye baat apne aap mein bahut badi hai On the first day of the election year 2019 Prime Minister Narendra Modi speaks on a wide range of subjects from demonetization to GST from vendetta politics to ordinance on Ram Mandir Narendra Modi bears it all School children to answer roll call with Jai Bharat instead of present sir or present ma'am Gujarat government's order causes a controversy critics slam superficial patriotism months after rugbers lynching now sabir khan beaten up by alleged cow vigilantes in alwar bjp slams the congress hypocrisy questions intolerance under gehlot where's the liberal brigade today why no outcry You're watching the news hour at 9. This is a Mega Times Now exclusive from the channel which is the headquarters for investigative journalism. We bring you a top investigative uh, exclusive which is a never seen before letter. For four days the nation has been witnessing a major political fight between the BJP and the Congress over alleged references to Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi in the Agusta Chopper scandal. Now, for the first time ever, Times Now has accessed the letter in which Christian Michel, the middleman in the Agusta Westland deal, refers to the son of an Italian lady. This effectively seems to demolish the Congress's defense that the Gandhis were completely alienated from any defense deals. Here are the explosive excerpts which put Rahul Gandhi directly in the line of fire. This letter ladies and gentlemen written by Christian Michel alleged middleman and it was written to Giuseppe Orsi CEO of Fin Meccanica on October 1st 2009. and it talks about a meeting at the beginning of the week with regards to an italian lady's son it talks about the gentleman i met knew about our activity and felt we were well placed the gentleman confirmed that the son will be the next prime minister and his power in the party is growing hence the finance minister's extreme anxiety at the son's son's ladies and gentlemen phenomenal rise The son will be asked this weekend to raise the matter with his mother. The mother is certainly not aware of all the facts. We fully expect the cabinet committee on security meet to take place in mid October. All the damage finance ministry has done will be resolved by July end. All that mentioned ladies and gentlemen in this letter and our internal editor internal ed, uh, security editor nikunj gargna joins me live on this big breaking story nikunj has a copy of that letter nikunj 
just take us through that letter the first copy of which we are going to reveal to our viewers right now here on the news app well absolutely narika this is a letter which has the nation riveted now for last at least uh, good four odd days and as professional journalists i thought it was my responsibility for the viewers or uh, towards the viewers for the viewers to see this letter and then arrive at a conclusion because uh, during the time when general elections are just about 100 days away the political discourse in this country or any other country for that matter reaches such high decibel levels that people probably cannot make an informed decision the here is the letter that times now has exclusively accessed this is a letter uh, written by as you said alleged middleman christian michel and this is a letter also navika which uh, talks all those contentious words here it is for our viewers to see here it is for our viewers to see the son will be asked this weekend to raise this matter with his mother as the mother is certainly not aware of the facts prior to that para number 2 letter obviously viewers can also see is dated october 1 2009 it is attention mr orsi the big boss of augusta westland the gentleman confirmed that the son will be the next prime minister his power in the party is growing day by day so this is the letter and the fact of the matter is that this is being written to the top boss of augusta westland it mentions clearly about the mother and the son it starts by saying it it starts by saying you know the attention uh, the subject matter starts point number a meeting at the beginning of the week with regards to the italian lady's son so the letter is very clear in its content it's written to the officials of augusta westland one has to keep in mind though it has become a relied upon document at least from the enforcement agency's point of view because they submitted it to a court of law uh, seeking extension of the custodial remand of christian michel but a court is yet to pronounce on it it its authentication has to finally come from the courts and then the legal or the jurisprudence point of view would be taken but here but here is the letter which in the poll season is the matter of biggest contention top guns i'm mr amit shah from the bjp side mr ak antony from the congress side are holding public press conferences bjp has staked its prestige they say they are going to make it they are going to address nationwide press conferences taking the contents of this letter out therefore it was crucial for us as journalists to put this letter out in the public domain for the viewers to see and decide for themselves are the contents really adding up or all this is just political diatribe between the two contesting parties well nikonj very important facts and uh, if we can just focus on this uh, letter balraj this is extremely important there are several important points that i want to draw our viewers attention the gentleman i met knew about our activity and felt we were well placed i explained that this was well known and we could not wait any longer so the urgency was being expressed here the gentleman confirmed that the son will be the next prime minister does this leave any doubt about the identity of the person the son will be the next prime minister and his power in the party is growing day by day hence the finance minister's extreme anxiety at the son's phenomenal rise who's the finance minister at that time in 2009 there's only one gentleman who was the finance minister we clearly think this is a reference to mr pranab mukherjee at that time then it goes on to say the son will be asked this weekend to raise this matter with his mother as the mother is certainly not aware of all the facts nikunj this is a very important fact mother not aware of all the facts she is aware of some but the son seems to be aware of many more facts nikunj the question here is what was the son in this case leaving nothing to doubt nothing to the imagination clearly pointing fingers probably allegedly at rahul gandhi what But, did rahul gandhi know but well, navika those certainly are the claims of this man alleged middleman the key conspirator according to the law enforcement agencies not only in india but also abroad christian michel these are his claims we are only putting them out this is a document that we have accessed uh, and as uh, any professional journalistic exercise would uh, ask us off we are putting it out for our viewers the fact is that this is he is writing to the top bosses uh, many many neutral observers in the past commenting on it navika has said that you know usually since he is the conduit doing business directly with the big guns of augusta westland giving out such detailed dispatches there is very very slim chance that he would be cooking up facts 
to that extent, extent. The counter of that is many, many people have also come out and said this is the usual tactic that the middlemen would employ to impress upon the people from whom they, who, for, who, to whom they want to cuff up, want, want, uh, to cuff up the money for them, for them to you know make their own cut. So there are arguments on both sides, but clearly the letter, the dispatch from the key conspirator le is leaving here nothing to chance. As a journalist, I will have to say that uh, it, it, it's fairly detailed. I have seen many such investigations in the past also starting from before Otavio Potrocki's extradition in Argentina and I have gone through those documents in fairly detail. This document, this document, this dispatch from Michel to uh, his uh, people who would be paying him up certainly leaves nothing to chance. References are clear. His meetings are with powerful and uh, uh, you know mighty of the land and he is clearly mentioning that there is a context Navika why finance ministry is coming into picture because he already in other dispatches uh, brought in the finance secretary who was at that point of time in favor of a government to government deal like a usual conservative bureaucrat between Russia and Indians and he didn't want true, any other true, party Nicole, to come in. But this, this was Christian Michel pushing the envelope talking about a Congress insider who had access to the then finance minister, the then Italian lady and the son where all messages seem to be going around at least that's what this letter about the italian lady tells us that's why ladies and gentlemen we are calling this hashtag italian lady letter but that's not all stand by for a second document a second document coming up ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, Times now has managed to access another set of documents, what can be called the blueprint of an apparent scam. It's an internal document of Augusta Westland in which the top executive of the defense firm openly discussed using political influence to win the deal. Here's how the alleged scam was planned. This was written by Saporno, uh, 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 Saporno, uh, G. Saporno to his boss G. Uh, uh, Giuseppe Orsi and this was written on 9th January 2007 and this was uh, in a letter in an email that was sent which detailed the entire scam and if I can just focus on this letter and this is a numbered letter this is a letter and a document that has been seized from the offices of Augusta Westland when uh, Giuseppe Orsi was arrested uh, uh, in around 2010-2011. Uh, this is the date, 9th January 2011. And look at what they say here. They say the EH101, which is the Augusta Westland chopper deal, operational performance advantages over S92 will not be sufficient to win the contract and it will be necessary to enhance the offer with an attractive offset proposal and good political influence talk of political influence started in 2007 itself it also talks about right here the way forward it says uh, the prospects of this deal in india are dependent upon establishment of the right political and strategic connections right political and strategic connections and it talks about the entire vvip program where it says the review of the decision on heights was made in March 2005. Much water has flown under the bridge where the Vajpayee government was blamed. But here the date is mentioned as March 2005 which is clearly the UPA government. And it talks about fresh operational requirements were accordingly formulated. It also talks about newspaper article appearing in June 2005. Even newspaper articles were being planted. It says draft letter to various defense officials were suggested by us. Nikunj, this is a document that exposes the defense establishment of the time of the UPA era. Well, Navika, defense establishment, unfortunately, the complete bureaucratic establishment. And why I say this is because of the fact that if this kind of goose was cooking in, the, in, in a private corporate, and the private corporate was clearly mentioning the right kind of political connections. Uh, it is 
if our bureaucratic uh, you know setup was completely unaware of the tactics being employed by one of the bidding companies in this uh, all important it's crucial navika not from the point of view of the volume of the money involved but remember these are vvip helicopters the, the, these helicopters are meant to fly the prime minister the congress president the home minister the president of india extreme security uh, dimensions involved in the safety and security of these helicopters and the document says that on the competence portion uh, we will not qualify look at the depths to which our establishment has plummeted if the red flags were not raised in the right time and if the contracts still went ahead and later on a cbi case had to be registered that's i think the shameful shocking not only negligence but collusion and that puts us even as as a professional journalist it is something i certainly am not enjoying reporting about but that's the truth of the matter uh, our viewers well, can judge that well nikunj that's the point why is the agusta chopper deal important is it important because it talks about the congress no is it important because it talks about the gandhis no is it important because it talks about the rot in our system it talks about the collusion of the babudam of the middlemen with the operating systems at the political level yes ladies and gentlemen because it's that rot that has probably sold india in the past and it is that rot that we need to stem from being sold in the future so ladies and gentlemen these revelations of these letters exclusively accessed by times now raise the legitimate question on the news hour tonight what exactly did the son of the italian lady know what exactly did rahul gandhi know that's the big question and that's the debate italian lady letter that's the debate coming up on the other side you're watching the news hour at 9 debate number 1 on times now super prime time and joining me on the big debate dr sudhanshu trivedi national spokesperson of the bjp sudarshan senior research fellow india foundation tehsin punawala political analyst abdul razak khan political analyst and uh, ashutosh political analyst but first to a segment that's called the standpoint tehsin punawala takes on dr sudhanshu trivedi and tehsin punawala to you goes my first question tehsin this letter just gives the whole secret away just how deeply the italian lady and the italian lady's son does this leave anything to the imagination about the role of the congress party the italian lady and the son and can any defense of the congress party now be seen with any kind of credibility first of all navika wish you your viewers and all the panelists a very very happy and a very prosperous 2019 fantastic exclusive letter but this exclusive letter actually works in favor of the up and the congress and i will explain why to go back to this letter let's go to the past the past is connected to your second letter which goes to 2005 march when the up was in term and they reviewed the augusta westland deal the augusta westland deal was reviewed because it was the prime minister atal bihari vajpayee's pmo that got in augusta westland by lowering the standards hence that letter says that by specifications augusta westland would not qualify so prime minister vajpayee and the bjp's corruption is why augusta westland is qualified now let's come to the second point in 2008 chatisgarh government bought augusta westland helicopters the case is going on in the honorable supreme court right now there's a cag report at the exact same rates upa bought it later on so then that should also equate to corruption now let's come to this letter of 2009 whether this letter is as you right please said alleged or a true letter the fact of the matter is whoever was advising if this is a true letter christian michel clearly does not know the role of rahul gandhi if this is about rahul gandhi because there was no problem between pranab mukherjee and rahul gandhi rahul gandhi never went on to become prime minister of the country from 2009 to 2014 that remained manmohan singh so this letter is but a piece of fiction a piece of imagination therefore it was thrown out by the italian high court as we've all discussed earlier on now let's come to the main point in the moot point of this letter as ak antony said it was the up that suspended on the allegations of corruption won the case in italy against the helicopters and this helicopters are bought back by modi government and please remember your time is up these helicopters often, without a tender very often uh, tehsin punawala when you don't when you don't have 
simple explanations to the questions that are asked, you normally get lost in worlds and worlds and worlds of words and you make mistakes, Tehseen Poonawala. The first mistake you made is when you talked about the Vajpayee government. The Vajpayee government may have started a conversation on looking at the height. This letter clearly goes on to say that the finalization on the height deal was done by the UPA government in March 2005. Many months but after they the came to power, PMO, many months after they came no, to power, all right, and, and this letter, this letter talks the about PMO Italian lady and changed, Italian lady's son, Mr. Tessin Punawala. This is how middlemen Gee, were being given access to the Italian lady's son, Mr. Tessin Punawala. Mr. Tessin Punawala, calm down, calm down. You have not answered any question about the Very 2009 calm, letter and the I access the of the questions. Italian lady's son and what he knew because the middleman says that he knew a lot more and, and the fact that his son's phenomenal rise was something that was being seen in the party. Nobody will contest that. And the son will be asked but this weekend untrue, to raise this matter because with his mother as the mother is. Dr. Sudhanshu Trivedi, Dr. Sudhanshu Trivedi, why is the Congress party so desperate to find excuses after, after this is out in black and white? Uh, Navika, that can be very well understood because not only the case of Christian Michel, in the last 30 years, whenever there is a corrupt foreigner involved in any sort of corruption in India, whether it is Anderson, Otavio Kotrochi, Guido Heske or Christian Michel, it is always connected to the first family of the Congress. And now, when they are going to that extent of saying that it was envisaged at the time of Vajpayee government, when it was finalized in 2010, I think this is somewhat an argument like Birbal ki khichdi. And one more thing I would like to say, after this type of words, Italian lady, growing clout in the party, likely to become prime minister, I think everything is almost explicit and unequivocal. Even if somebody tries to take an alibi that this is not related to those whom everybody can understand, then I would like to use that phrase in Hindi, ki bhai ab to samajne wale samaj rahe hain aur na samjhe ye anadi hai. So I would like to say the things which are coming are definitely a very serious matter. And one more thing, it is not initiated by any political allegation from opposition or BJP when we were in opposition. Second thing, this was not initiated by any of the Indian agencies. Entire process was initiated in Italian court, undertaken by Italian agencies. Then whatever the fact came, the CBI inquiry was initiated by the then UPA government. And when that it is reaching to their legitimate due, then they are very much desperate because they know कि मिशेल की तरफ से कहना चाहूँगा कि अपने दिल में इतने राज छुपाए बैठे हैं बैठे इतने राज छुपाए कि जरा सी नजर मिले तो दिल ढक मगाए। Well, I'm opening up the debate. Ashutosh, Ashutosh, after this letter has been put in public domain now on Times now, is there anything left to the imagination? See that the two things which has to be understood first, if this letter is true, which I believe it is true, then I think this indicates towards certain things which needs to be investigated. Uh, but the point number two which is important is that it says that somebody has tried to contact, somebody was very happy that they have contacted somebody who is going to be very, very influential and he will talk to the to Sonia Gandhi. Now the issue is did son talk to the, the Italian lady and did Italian lady try to influence the defense deal or not? That question has not been answered by this letter. I think that is where the problem lies with the, with the letter. And the third question is, who is this gentleman? How influential that gentleman is? Is he some middleman? Is he some uh, uh, Tom, Dick and Harry? Or is it an influence, politically so influential that he has an influence with a man who could be the prime minister as the letter suggests? So I think these questions needs to be answered. Third point which I which are very, very intriguing, uh, intriguing is that if Agastha Westland was such a disaster, it was blacklisted. Why the Modi government has lifted the uh, it from the uh, from the list of the uh, from the list, 
and it was invited for some kind of a bidding that is where my worry is that if this company has been so deep into the corruption how could the modi government lift it from the uh, from the from the blacklisted ha has been lifted that needs to be answered that is it done deliberately or somebody else else was trying to influence the entire deal i i want to draw your attention now uh, once again ashutosh ji to to some of the details had, that are mentioned in this i am coming back to you tehsin punawala it talks about in the same letter about graham cole's Gina. visit to india graham cole once again is a gentleman who is the worldwide <coughs> chief of agusta westland which is a a, a joint venture between uh, italian and uh, uh, british it talks about we were looking forward this week but graham's uk commitments only for a force three working days in india uh we are thinking of next week but thursday is air force day so the defense ministry is closed on that day it's also a partial holiday that leaves gram only wednesday for official meetings apart from the logistics a very valid point has been raised we fully expect ccs to take place in mid october all the damage finance did has been resolved as in july and once again we are ready to go look at the kind of access Christian Michel is able to get into our defense system it talks about meeting at the beginning of the week with regards to italian lady's son the gentleman i met knew about our activity and felt we were well placed i explained that this was well known but what we could not wait any further the gentleman confirmed that the son will be next prime minister obviously it gives indication that this is an insider do you have any idea about who is this gentleman is we don't know Is he a political figure? Is he a minister? Is he a cabinet would you, man? What would you draw? I think somebody is influential, because if gentleman, I cannot have an access. As somebody, a journalist, I cannot have access. Somebody who says, somebody who says, the son will be asked this weekend to raise this matter with his mother. Yeah. What does it tell you? What does it tell you, Doctor Sudhanshu Trivedi? This somebody who is saying that the son will raise the matter with the mother, the Italian lady, this weekend. can it be just somebody or will it be an insider wielding a lot of political influence uh, i think the question which you are asking that who is going to tell you the entire narration is very much there in this conversation definitely there has to be someone very influential who is to the extent of knowing that the son is likely to become the prime minister and you remember these were the time in 2009 and 10 when congress came back with 206 seats and they were at the height and it was considered that rahul gandhi is going to be the most powerful person congress was considering was considered as they are going to dominate the uh, indian politics for the years to come and bjp has scored their 116 seats which was 20 years low the lowest score since 1991 so i think if you connect with the political situation of at the time and whatever is been said about the finance minister and those who know about the political history the relation of the finance minister with the son with his father and others i think there, there is nothing like cliche which cannot be deciphered by any person who knows even the simple nuances of the indian politics or the internal dynamics of the congress party ashutosh the are, you you that. were a, you were a journalist at that time and you know what were the political equations at that point in time within the congress party and there's nobody better place to answer that question than you see i think there is no doubt about it that somebody was in very very influential because i cannot have an access that i can put a pressure and say do you talk to your mother something like that the, so one thing is very very clear the point is the important point which which i want to stress is that this is not an easy matter the enforcement directorate what enforcement director has said because enforcement directorate in the court has said that these are the these are the word these are the word mr r son of the lady and all of that why did the enforcement director did not tell to the court that in what what was the context in which the mother sonia gandhi's name was ex, was was uh, was spelled out the context this was is, never given this is the co context no, no, but this, this, this is only, the this, context but this, is this, the this does not this only said that somebody was trying to influence but the issue is 
was the deal influenced by them that has the son spoken to the mother that answer is not there has the has the has the italian lady spoken to the to the defense ministry it, that is not clear so unless that is clear that's mr. what i'm asking Ashutosh, may I'm saying, mr ashutosh mr ashutosh may i tell you the question. may i tell you that augusta westland I has think, paid uh, 30 Navika, million euro into the account of mr uh, christian michel it's an established fact that money has come into the accounts of Mr. Yes. Uh, uh, Christian Michel and has been withdrawn is a matter of record. The fact that 28 million euro came into the uh, hands and, Navika, and accounts of uh, Guido Hashke, the second middleman, is, and was withdrawn is also a matter of record. Up, jo missing kadi wo ye hai ki wo jo paisa nikla wo kiske paas gaya. Aapki baat bilkul sahi, but mera sawal is baat ko leke ye hai ki jo Subramaniam Sami ne. संसद के अंदर सवाल उठाया कि 2003 में ब्रजेश मिश्रा की लीडरशिप में एक मीटिंग हुई जिसमें हेलीकॉप्टर का केबिन 6000 से घटा के 45000 किया नो द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट वो तो ये कह रहे हैं वो तो ये कह रहे हैं कि ये मार्च 2000 दैट्स हाफ ट्रुथ आई एम आई एम ऑन द प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस वाज स्टार्टेड आई एम ऑन रिकॉर्ड यू 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 चेक यू विल फाइंड आउट Subramaniam Swami has raised this issue. Everybody knew this that the cabin height was lowered when Brijesh Mishra was there in 2003. Uh, it was his committee and 6,000 to 4, 5,000. May I, so, may I then read out this document, Ms. Dr. Uh, 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 Dr. Uh, uh, Trivedi, before coming to you? This document that's been uh, seized from the official uh, headquarters of Augusta Westland says. At the time, Eurocopter EC-225 Super Puma powered by Makila 2A engines was satisfying all operational requirements for this program, including service ceiling heights of 6,000 meters after flight evaluations of various products, including Bell 412 EP, MI-171, EC-225, EH-101 was not evaluated as its ceiling height was only 4,572 meter, meters. A review of this decision was made possible by us. In March 2005, it was decided to reduce altitude from 6 kilometers to 4.5 kilometers and performance from 5 kilometers to 2 kilometers. Simultaneously, cabin height was increased to 1.8 meters. This was done only to include our product. This is being confessed by Augusta Westland in their letter and this is a numbered letter Ashutosh ji uh, that has been got from the Augusta Westland headquarters. Does this answer your question? No, it does not answer my question because I stand by whatever I said. I said it was Rajesh Mishra. They will committee. not believe the Augusta Westland. No, no. They will still raise questions about no, Rajesh Mishra. Dr. Sudan Trivedi, the ball is in your court. Navika, please may I answer this. Look, I want to say one thing. कि आशुतोष जी जो करने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं एक तो कहते हैं हिंदी में बाल की खाल निकालना और दूसरा होती है कहावत तिनके की ओट में पहाड़ छुपाने की कोशिश करना अरे भाई इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट इट वाज फाइनलाइज्ड इन 2005 द डील वाज डन इन 2010 इवन इफ आई कंसीडर इवन इफ व्हाट एवर यू आर सेइंग दैट व्हेन इट वाज एनविसेज्ड इन 2003 some three specifications were discussed. There were ample time for UPA for around six years from 2004 to 2010 to do whatever ratification they require. Or jo bhi aapne kaha ki whether son has talked to mother, to mere khayal se maa bete ke beech mein kab kya baat hogi, ye jaanne ki ek aina ki baat hui ya nahi hui, ye baat thodi si aashar janak lagti hai. And whatever the crowd the Canadian lady was having, agar uske baad bhi, अगर आप इसमें बचाव लेने की कोशिश करें तो मुझे लगता है फिर वही कहूंगा तिनके की ओट में पहाड़ छुपाने की कोशिश करना सुधांशु जी ने बहुत सारी बातें की सुधांशु जी को मैं एक तथ्य बता दूं और आपके दर्शकों को भी एक तथ्य बता दूं यह फैसला 2005 में लिया गया था बिल्कुल सही आपके दस्तावेज भी बिल्कुल सही है बहरहाल यह फैसला इस बेसिस पे लिया गया था कि 2003 में वाजपेयी जी का कैबिनेट ने इसे कम किया था so 2003 दिसंबर so 2005 में हुआ था फैसला किया उन्होंने क्या किया उन्होंने किया इटालियन लेडी लेटर लेट मी गेट इन अब्दुल रजाक खान अब्दुल रजाक खान अब्दुल रजाक खान बिटवीन दीस टू लेटर्स द कांग्रेस गेम हैज बीन गिवन अवे 2007 द ब्लूप्रिंट ऑफ द स्कैम वाज सेट अप 2009 2009 केम द इटालियन लेडी एंड द सन 
uh, I think my memory has helped me. I just Ravika, I'm a little skeptical about the authenticity of these letters. Letter. First of all, the has letter Christian was written Michel by Rajesh accepted Kusha. that and it is he who has written these letters to, Air to Joseph Orsi. My first Suggesting question. that the technical specification you know, unless, for the 12th helicopter... Nobody is denying that. The no, 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 nobody is denying the, the process started then. If the UPA wanted, they could have rejected that. So my contention is, Agastha Westland is a classic case where the power elites were deep involved, whether it is UPA or NDA. Okay, that's right. All right, all right. So Ashutosh says it's not just the UPA, it's also the NDA. Mr. Abdul Razak Khan. So now, the thing is that Italian lady and the son, what did the son know after this letter has come to light? Because this letter says the son will be asked this weekend to the raise this matter with his mother, all, Navika, and the mother is certainly the not aware of all the facts. Navika, only the letter R has come in one month. 4th December was what? When uh, Christian Michel was extradited to India. In one month, the Enforcement Directorate, the premier agency of our country, is able to establish, you know, retrieve only one letter. By this trend, the pace, you know, his, the ED is going to take at least 11 months by the time they come down to the full name. Establish the trial, establish the Is that your money best trial. defense? Come on, it's going to take 22 years. Is that this your is best nothing defense? But a game. Navika, please let me complete. No, let me tell you, this is only to hide from Rafal deal. The real facts of Rafal deal are out. Come on, it is the momentum. Why most, you know, significance is given to this deal is only okay, because... Okay, I challenge you, Mr. Abdul Razak Khan. I challenge Rafal you. Deal. I challenge you, Mr. Abdul Razak Khan. In fact, the Prime Minister has challenged you. Let me play out what the Prime Minister has said just today. What he has just said today. If there is any personal yes, allegation, any persons. linkages of the Prime Minister to the Rafale deal, put them on the table and then call for an investigation. It should be done. Don't just shoot in the air. In this I case, you, we have brought out a letter a of the Italian him, lady was, and the is, son. And it will always Italian lady and the son. Him. We are not talking, we are not firing in the air. There is a black and white copy why of the Italian talk, lady why, and why the son's letter written by Christian Michel addressed to Giuseppe Orsi. I want you to listen into the Prime Minister. Leader, I want you, you to listen into the Prime Minister. Let's listen into the Prime Minister. This is the first family that was born in the country. Four people have been born in the country. They have to go to the country and they have to go पैसों की हेरा फेरी में ये बात अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी है और जो सेट ऑफ पीपल है जो उनकी सेवा में लगे हैं वो ऐसी चीजों को दबाने में लगे रहते हैं और चीजों को भारने में लगते हैं ये अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी बात है लेकिन कोई भारतीय जनता पार्टी का विरोधी है इसलिए उनको तकलीफ हो इस पक्ष के हम नहीं है तो ये वेंडेटा नहीं है इस पक्ष में हम कभी नहीं है हम मानते हैं कानून एवं प्रक्रिया में जो निकलेगा वो मोदी हो तो मोदी को भी भुगतना पड़ेगा वरना देश चल नहीं सकता है सुदर्शन मिस्टर सुदर्शन दिस लेटर टॉक्स अबाउट ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ सर्टेन इंडिविजुअल्स इन द यूपीए इरा इट टॉक्स अबाउट द इटालियन लेडी इट टॉक्स अबाउट द सन has the opposition ever been come out uh, able to come out with any direct reference to the prime minister as far as the rafael deal is concerned since it's always uh, you know rafael versus agusta that's equated absolutely and the supreme court has clearly established the fact that the nation cannot be underprepared when it comes to national security now, Navika, I would like to take you back to another note of uh, 2008 of Mr. Michel, which he has stated uh, live on media that this is authentic. When he was asked who is the driving force behind this deal, he goes on to name Mrs. Sonia Gandhi first and the then Prime Minister, the then Defence Minister, the then National Security Advisor. And there are several in 2013, the then Defence Minister told the House told the parliament that bribes were paid, corruption was involved, therefore CBI is offered, CBI is told to investigate. Not once did UPA say we are debarring this particular company. 
July 2014, NDA comes to power. They debar this company. The Vigilance Department of the Defense uh, Ministry corroborates that in 2018 that we have debarred this company. The Prime Minister has assured in the interview which you have just played out, there will be a bipartisan legal scrutiny of this case. Therefore, let the facts come out. I want to ask you, Tehseen Poonawala, that on Saturday, sorry, when, on when Christian Michel was produced I... in the court by the Enforcement Directorate, <coughs> there was a scene. There was a piece of paper that was passed on by Christian Michel to the lawyers. Do you know what was that note? That note were the additional questions that the Enforcement Directorate wanted to ask about Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. Now, why was this note being passed on to right. the lawyers? I want to ask you that as question number one. And question number because, two, uh, it's not we here at times now, but it is the court that has given its ruling that when Christian Michel meets his lawyers now, he will meet them at a distance. There will not be any handshake distance between correct. Christian Michel and the lawyers after this exchange of notes was brought to the notice of the judge. So, Tehseen Poonawala, when there is nothing to hide, then what are you hiding? Because under Article 40, of the constitution the right to remain silent is a fundamental right in the legal process point number one point number two uh, christian michelle is on record to say that prime minister modi is pressurizing him to give mrs gandhi's name and in exchange for the italian marines who still haven't come back i want no, to clear one no, lie no, that has been no, told no, on the television no, no. it is in parliament when ak antony said when ak antony said please please let me finish when ak antony said that fin, fin mechanica the parent company has been banned at the time he said there was corruption and this upa that took the court to the case to Italy and won the case. It is in June 2014 after Modi ji came back that this company was got back into the Gujarat, uh, vibrant Gujarat and other places and they were allowed to deal in the defense export. It was banned by UPA. This is a clear no, lie no, told no, on the television. No, no, Please no, no. The no, no. Ashutosh, uh, as a former journalist, I'll allow you to ask. Okay, coming, welcome coming back to Ashutosh. Ashutosh, you, uh, back to Ashutosh. Ashutosh, 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 with this letter, with references to the Italian lady and the son, doesn't it now raise questions about no, no, what? I'll, I'll, I'll go further. Not only what did it, the son know? No, not only it raises question, but the proper investigation has to be done. That's simple. It should reach to its logical conclusion. Because this this can't be called vendetta. No, no. Whether it is vendetta or not vendetta, the political uh, masters has to answer the question. I am saying if the direction of investigation is this, then it should reach to its logical conclusion. Come what may, whosoever is there has to be investigated. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the channel for investigative stories and we bring you yet another exclusive, this letter, the Italian lady letter that sets yet another trend in bringing out deep down investigation stories to the fore. This is the letter that talks about the Italian lady, it talks about the son and it talks about the son who will be asked this weekend to raise the Augusta Westland matter with his mother. Did the son raise the matter with his mother? What did the mother say? And how was the Augusta Westland chopper deal finally inked? That's the question. Will the enforcement directorate be able to join the dots? Because ladies and gentlemen, 58 million euros were paid into the bank accounts of two middlemen, Christian Michel and Guido Hashke. Where did that money go? Who were the recipients of those bribes? That's the big question. Thank you very much to all my panelists for joining me on debate number one. Going across to debate number two, the Jay Bharat debate on the other side.